Hello guys, welcome back to AWMFX. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. So today I'm going to show you an example of using MPL, maximum pain level, and using SR flip to enter a trade. Alright, so first of all, let's look at this uh, chart. This is the example. What we have here is a GBP CAD 4 hours chart. Alright, so we need to catch a move. This small drop here. Alright, this might be a small drop because uh, there is a QM level and the price might go to a bigger place. Alright, but anyway, we have an opportunity to catch this small drop in a H4. But if you look at the smaller time frame, this is a huge profit. Okay, then how do we identify? First of all, let me explain what is an SR flip. So SR flip is something like this. When the price came down, right? When the price came down, it will make a channel, or should I say, it will make consolidation. All right, consolidation. Then, after that. The price will went up, will go beyond this level over here. Okay, will go beyond this level over here. All right, before it makes a drop, let's do this. Okay, it will go beyond this level. All right, will go beyond this level. This is what we call as the big banker or big player stock hunt. Then only the price drop drastically. So what happened in future is that the price, right? It may test here a few times. That is a possible test a few times, all right? Then the price will definitely come back to this area before the drop. Okay, this is the drop that we want, all right? But however, we must look at is there any pos any uh, fresh demand zone that will be our uh, take profit area. So what we identify, what we want to identify is this thing. This is what we call as a SR flip. All right. Not only that, if you look behind, or should I say, you look at the left, you found that there is a lot of rejection around this area. Okay. So not so this line over here. Let me make it other other color. Uh, let's do it orange. This orange color line is also considered as an S. SR significant support resistance, or I should say, in this sense, is maximum pain level, but overall is a SSR. All right, so hopefully, you guys know or understand this concept. So, now let's look back at our chart. So, at, at our chart, this area, okay, actually, that is something very similar. So, if you cannot see, we'll switch it to smaller time frame. Because it is more obvious, sometimes it is more obvious at smaller time frame. Let's zoom in. Okay, so what we have over here is that, let me put a line for you so that you guys can see it properly. Okay, what we have here is that there is a price. Okay, there is a price with a, this line over here that is a lot of rejection. If you look at it properly, the price reject a few times then reject from the bottom. Then what happened is that the price came up to this area. All right? Then only went down. So this is considered as a proper SSR, okay? And an SR flip. So there is a chance for us to go into this trade. This might be a, a long-term trade or this might be a short-term trade because it depends on the right-hand side, the current price which we don't know right now. So what we can see is that this area, this whole area, okay, this whole area is an area that we are going to enter. So if you look at it, the fresh, now we are go back, going back to the basic, which is the fresh uh, supply or demand zone. So here we are looking for supply because we sell at supply zone. So what we have is that this supply zone, this is my supply zone. Okay, this will be my supply zone. Sometimes I pronounce the word supply not very correctly. So, okay, so our stop loss will be around 23p. 
pips all right will be around 23 pips 23 pips so if you felt that it's not comfortable for you what we can do is that we go into lower time frame and see is there any other opportunity to trade or to enter sharp all right but this is gbp cad so i advise you not to go too small all right but 22 if you we can uh should i say we can uh, experiment to go into smaller time frame so let's go into smaller time frame and see is there any other opportunity because if you don't do this kind of a uh, drawing or don't do this kind of uh should i say uh back testing you will never know all right so all right here we have something very very nice so if you guys with me for for some time you will know that this is a double maru king we have a double maru king these two candles here is a double maru so what is a double maru we have a maru bozu okay this is what we call it as a maru bozu maru bozu maru bozu but only these two maru bozu stand out the okay, reason is that okay if you took, look, look at it this maru bozu when it breaks to form to continue another maru bozu there is a shadow one shadow going down another shadow going up and at this area if you look at behind there is a lot of rejection 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 right let me put this box away for a while so there is a lot of rejection so behind the double maru king there is a lot of rejection means that this is a very very sharp entry this is a very good opportunity for us to go into this trade this is our enter point all right then there is another question here let me put a line let me get this line away first at this moment let me put a line over here this is another educational uh question a lot of you will ask yes this is a lot of rejection correct but however how come there is another one over here so which one should i take because here we also have a rejection correct if you see rejection 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 and a double maru again so there is two double maru which one should we take okay this is an extra education out of uh i will say 10 trades 10 trades eight to nine trades will go for the higher uh, double maru okay or dub this uh, double maru at the top for a sell trade so here i'm gonna give you another tips so if we have two if we have two ssr okay if we have two ssr let's assume that we have two ssr and then we have two uh they're very beautiful marubozu all right we have two marubozu over here king we have two king we have two king let's assume all right we have two double marubozu king so which one should we take we'll be taking the higher one remember that this is uh, not a rules but this is through my experience out of 10 trades nine to eight trades okay i'll say 85 percent will go for the higher one this is opportunity for a sell so if you're looking for a buy okay if you're talking about buy then it will be the lower one okay the second one so if you look at it this is another opportunity for us to uh, do a sniper entry or should i say uh, make our entry smaller all right but this time around the the stop loss is too small for me okay it will be really really very small so usually for gbcad i'll make it bigger uh let's assume that maybe 10 pips reason why is because of the spread you must take note of the spread okay why do we need to do that because sometimes uh, some of your broker uh, have a spread widen during news time so you have to take care of that problem all right the important is that we must have a precise entry so that we don't have we don't uh, get too much uh, floating or we don't want to hold too long what you want is the instant result once the price touch it uh within a few minutes or 
uh, I think within a few minutes, you can see your result going uh, positive instead of negative, which is very stressful. Okay, so this will be my entry. This will definitely be my entry. So let's look at it if this sniper entry really hit it or not. Let's go back to H1 again. All right. So nicely done. So you can see the price reject exactly at this area. Reject exactly at this area because of a double Maru King and also SSR behind that. So the whole setup is called SR flip. All right. So where is our take profit zone? Now the price has went up then it's okay because you'll be adjusting your stop loss all the way if you know how to adjust it so where is your potential stop loss if this price does not move up because sometimes uh, a lot of things uh, might not go as uh, well as what we plan but it's okay so initially our first take profit will be here because this is a fresh zone all right if it's if the price keep going up then it's okay uh the next Take profit zone will be around here okay you must know where you should stop your trade okay of course uh meanwhile when the trade is going positive you must adjust remember to adjust your stop loss to a positive area okay as long as your stop loss is minimum all right so if you took this trade because i already put my stop loss quite high so this is quite accurate right it's around one to ten that's all not a lot one to ten right uh, if you put your stop loss then it's around one to six so shouldn't be a problem shouldn't be your problem all right so hopefully you guys learn a few uh, tricks or tips because this might be new instead of qml today we'll talk about sr flip with a fresh supply demand and SSR double Maru King. All right, so hope you guys pick up a few tips or tricks about trading accurately. So see you guys next time in the next video. If you guys like the video, please give me a like and subscribe to support me so that I know you guys uh, really want something more from me and I'll make more video for you guys. Alright, so see you guys next time. Bye.